Hey there. On this video, I'd like to show you a software uh, that is uh, a possible software that can be quite important to you if you are planning to use MATLAB. Some years ago, I created uh, a video about MATLAB, how to install MATLAB, the trial version. Uh, the video gained some traction, some attention, was is the most uh, viewed video on my channel with likes and so on. At the time I created the video, I was not planning for the video to be uh, like uh, viewed by other people. I mean, I, I created the video because I was given a course at the time about my lab to medical doctor and biologist. And I thought to myself, I, may, I, I mean, I already had contact with them, so I thought to myself, it's better if I create a video for them to install MATLAB, how to install the trial version, that to make their life easier. The course lasts for about four hours, and I'm planning to create a Udemy course, especially, specifically about this course, like a new version, an uh, updated version, but now will be available on Udemy. At the time I created, uh, it was a, a, a present, a presence course, was not a, was a course that was done face-to-face. Uh, -face. So the quality of the, the audio was not that good, so when I posted on, on the channel, uh, several people didn't like the video, I believe they didn't like the video because the quality of the video was not good, but at the time I did some research, I did some Google form with the participant of the project, of the, of the course, and got a very good, um, a very good uh, feedback. I believe 90% uh, 90, 90 of the people ranked the course above five star, I mean five uh, the grade, I put like rank from 10 to zero. About 90% if I remember well ranked the course as five, uh, five or more, so it was a pretty good result in my opinion. Uh, so I decided to create now, uh, I'm now, one month ago I started to create a course on Udemy and to post on this channel, so I thought to myself that maybe to redo this course, since this course seems to be very interesting, even the, even the video not being that good, it gained attention. I mean, the quality of the sound, I mean, the sound, the, the, the sound was not good because people were talking in the background because it was like live in a room. So I decided to create this video to show you that there is an, an alternative to MATLAB. MATLAB is paid, it's a very good software, it's a made software, but it's paid. So an alternative version that you can use is called the Octave, there is also Scilab, but here I'm going to present to you Octave. I have to confess that I have not been using Octave, recently I had to give some, pri I give some private lessons, so if you need something you can let, you can let me know. I was giving private lessons and the, the student need to use Octave, it was something that the professor asked them to use. And then I, I had to make some calls, I was surprised how, how, how close uh, Octave is from MATLAB. Even the, docu even the, the, the documentation, uh, you can use the documentation of MATLAB. The documentation of, of Octave is not that good. I, I found the documentation very bad, but I was able to go to the documentation of MATLAB and the, the transformation was quite close. So, um, anyway, so that can be an option for you if I plan to use MATLAB, but you don't have the license, you don't have the software, you can use Octave. I, I don't think that, I, that uh, it, it's always going to work. I think it's going to work just for very, um, I, could, I would say, very specific, very... Because MATLAB is, 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 MATLAB is a software, like in a code line, you can type the code, you can do the script and so on. But MATLAB as well has a huge amount of toolbox. That may be one of the most powerful, uh, uh, powerful details of MATLAB are the tools, the toolbox, the, the libraries that you can use. So I don't think I don't think that uh, this I, I don't think that this this uh, transformation will be quite close. Uh, uh, it will be like uh, I mean you cannot replace MATLAB. That's what I want to say. Even when you use MATLAB and you change to a new version of MATLAB, most of the time you have problems that the, uh, the package that you have in your version is not going to work on the other. So, so that even between different, between different versions of MATLAB, you have problems sometimes to change from one version to the other. So, I don't think that the soft arc table is going to be uh, a 100% replacement, but it can be a very interesting option for you to consider. When you, I'm not going to teach you how to install here because uh, they, I already installed on my computer, I don't want to install that. 
and as well, but the installation process is very simple. I'm going to show you the website. It's very simple, it's very easy to install. Uh, if, I, if I use Linux, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because I saw that you have different installation for different uh, options of, of, of Linux. I, I like to use Ubuntu. Uh, I saw that Ubuntu as well. Was, was, uh, anyway, I have to be honest. To install anything in Linux is not simple. People that use Linux, if they hear that, they're going to be very angry. I have seen that people that use Linux, they, are, they protect the image of Linux like, like they don't like to say that Linux Windows is better, but in my opinion, Windows is better when it comes to uh, friendly interface, when it comes to interact with the user, uh, it's much better. Uh, more, all the time I had to install something in Linux, it, it, my opinion, it is, a, it, it is quite hard sometimes. But I had to, I tried to store as well uh, uh, Octave on Linux side. It was a little bit complicated, so I just gave up. But it does not seem to be very, I mean, if you, if you are a Linux user, you are already familiar with how Linux is used. It's a matter of uh, to be adapted. So you are in the adaptive environment. So you have on the website of, of Octave precisely what you have to do. There is a link, you go there and follow the step, you do the, 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 the famous like uh, apt, sudo apt, and so on. The, if you are familiar with the environment of Linux, I believe you are going to do it. Uh, it's not be complicated. But anyway, if you have any problem, let me know if I, if I somehow can help you. But anyway, so after you install, you have two options. You can use the, 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 the CLI, which is just the prompt command. I mean, you can, as you see, it's, a, and it's even a, a functional. I mean, you can see that it, plus five. As you see, it's, it's a kind of a, or a function. Uh, so it can be an option for you that you can if you make some simple calculation, like I believe that, uh, I'm not sure, but I believe that should be, uh, uh, I don't know if the, anyway, I, I didn't test here, but I believe that if you, if, if you use here a uh, script, they are going to work for you. Uh, Anyway, I believe that can do it uh, a kind of script. But the, the one that I, I really would like to show you here is the is the user uh, is the uh, what they call the graphical user interface. So the graphical user interface of then is like it's, I mean it's quite similar to MATLAB. I mean I cannot even say sometimes the difference. Maybe one difference is here because you go, you, maybe you can change that as well. But here in the tab. It's a little bit different on this point. I mean, I, but anyway, here you have the, like, even like MATLAB, you have the, 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 the place where, where you can write the codes, where you can do all the, all the, all the, all the, all the manipulation. Sometimes can be quite helpful. You have as well here, uh, here you have as well, here you have as well all the all the options. I mean, it's not just like in, like uh, because MATLAB is always changed, it's also evolving. So you may find some difference here. As one example to you, here is a is a uh, let's see this one. This was the example that I, I was doing. It's like a t test. Uh, you can make tests like a t hypothesis test for a small sample. It's, it it be classified as biostatistics. If you study biostatistics. Most likely, this kind of trick is going to be quite useful for you. Uh, so, one of the drawback I found, one of the drawback that I found about uh, about Octave, that you need to keep all the time doing the load of the package. So, the package is not in MATLAB. You um, once you install, you don't have you don't have to load that all the time. It's already like uh, somehow loaded, uh, uh, loaded for you. So, that can be a drawback. But if you use a script. Uh, you just put in a script and then you just run the script. There is no problem at all. So that's one of the the, the so when you run that the, the test of uh, as you see the same kind of message to have when you run MATLAB you're going to see this kind of message here uh, more quite similar. Uh, then here you go here you have the answer again uh, like quite close to MATLAB. Uh, essentially cannot even sometimes tell the difference between them. But uh, so uh, even this, kind, this function here, the t-test as one example, 
I, I, I was, uh, if you go, I'm sure, let me show you one example here. If you go, I'm using this example here for you because this was the, 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 the latest, ex, uh, I was described less, so I had to do this code here. So I'm going to use, use here, just show you how similar is from, uh, let me see here. I, I want to show you how close they are, it is from, so if you go to Octave, so this is the, the documentation of Octave. The documentation can, it can be helpful, but as you can see, it's a little bit uh, not friendly, I mean, a little bit boring. Uh, I had difficulty to understand how to make the parameterization of this T function. So what I did, I did like MATLAB. I love the documentation of MATLAB. It's a very good, friendly documentation, as you can see. So, uh, so here you have documentation of MATLAB. As you see, it's, in my opinion, it's much better. If, here you have the option to change the language of MATLAB according to your country. So I believe you can change according to your country. I'll leave here in English. Uh, but here you can see, as you see, it's much more friendly. I, I, I use the documentation of MATLAB for a lot of for my PhD. Uh, and uh, I was able, if, if you, uh, precisely the way that is, I, I, I cannot tell you for sure that it's going to work all the time. I not can tell you for sure that it's going to work every, every time. But in this specific case, I was surprised because uh, precisely the way that is on the website, website of MATLAB is the, what you can find on Octave. So when the documentation of Octave does not uh, deliver what you want, does not give you the kind of, uh, does not meet, you, meet your expectation, uh, you can see as an alternative to use the documentation of, of Octave. That's what I, I, I thought to myself that it could be uh, an alternative. But again, I don't think that MATLAB is, is, is replaceable. I don't think that they're going to have all the kind of function, all the kind of power that you can have. For example, uh, Symbolink. I don't think that you have, I'm not sure about that, I can double check later, but I don't think that you have Symbolink, uh, a Symbolink version on, on Octave. Maybe you have. But anyway, uh, what I want to say that even if we find the, a considerable amount of the similarity between the software, uh, there will be some point that you, you will not be able to, to, to go away from, from, from use MATLAB. Uh, so what I want to show you now is how to install. So if you install, this is their website. Uh, the installation process is quite simple. It's not that the, this is not the, if you go to download, so here you have several options you can see. I use uh, Windows, uh, so it's, it'll be like, uh, as you can see, have several options of install. The process is quite simple. I have to confess that I have some problem of installing, but I have to say that I'm using Windows 10 and the latest version. Um, and that way, uh, somehow, somehow the latest version of Windows not work properly with several software of mine. So if you are using Windows 10, I suggest that you do not update. <laughs> I, I never update. It was a mistake. I was I always like not to keep update because when you update this, the software that yeah, that you already have, have installed start to give problem with the new version of Windows. Sometimes I have to restore everything. So do not update. I mean, my, that's my opinion. <laughs> I cannot I cannot come back. So at least I don't. It does not seem so. There is all the things that you can do. Install your pre version so on. But I'm not going to do that. Anyway, here you have all the options of Octave. For those of you that like to use Linux, uh, as I said, the drawback of, of this is that you have to choose. Um, you have to... Uh, as you see here, as you see, alternative, uh, there are some distribution. The package version of Linux are provided by individual distributor. As you can see, that's one of the drawbacks that each specifically you have to go to one web, one specific website. Uh, so you have to choose. Uh, I like to use Ubuntu, as you can see, I have my preference, but you have to choose which one. Uh, but I believe you are using Linux, you are a computer scientist. I don't think that if you are not a computer scientist or, in, or someone that does not work closely with, uh, with programming, uh, you're not going to use Linux. Linux is just for someone that uh, somehow has a, a very strong, a very strong uh, relationship with programming. So I don't think that would be difficult for you. If you already have familiarity with line of code and so on, you just have to follow the step. So that's it. 
So to, to make a summary, uh, to, so to summarize what I my point on this video, on this video, like I, I want, I try to show to you that uh, there is an alternative version for MATLAB. That alternative version is not a, re, a replacement. Uh, you should not expect that the Octave is going to replace uh, MATLAB 100%. But that can be an option. That, for example, maybe you, you, so for some reason you do not have access to MATLAB, or maybe you don't know, don't not want to use MATLAB for whatever reason. Maybe you don't, you don't like paid softwares. You like open open source codes. Uh, so Octave or even Scilab can be an version. I present to you Octave. As said, uh, this video was created to be a complementary video to a previous video of mine about MATLAB. Specifically, I was trying to teach how to install the try, the try version of MATLAB that lasts for uh, uh, 30 days. So, uh, that's it. Hope that you enjoy the video. Did you like the content of this channel? So, please subscribe to the channel. It's quite simple, you just have to hit subscribe and you, have, you can decide which level of uh, notification you want. You may choose all the notifications, which means that everything that I do, you receive a notification on your, on your bell here, on the upper corner, or you can choose no notification. I would strongly recommend you to subscribe, even if you don't want to receive all the notifications. Just hit here, no notification, or hit the one that you like the most. It's pretty important that you subscribe to the channel so I, I can achieve a high number, of, a high number of subscribers, and people can as well understand that this channel has a nice content to offer, and YouTube will understand as well that it can make a nice divulgation of the channel. So please subscribe to the channel.